Welcome to Tyson Tidbits. This is a clip from a workshop focused on Tyson that we had a couple of weeks ago. And in this video, we're going to check how to create your Hello World uh, application with Tyson Studio. Expect some similar videos that are coming directly from this two hour workshop. And let me know what kind of other videos you would like to check. So when you open the first time Tyson Studio will look something like this, okay? Now, I have a few projects that I had open here in this workspace. Quite likely, it's going to ask you like, hey, where is the workspace that you want to work? And that pretty much is like a folder where all your projects are going to be there. I have a few here. The first time, this is going to be empty, and this is the UI that you're going to have. So we're going to start with the smallest thing. We're going to create a Hello World. So now, you can go directly to File and say New Tyson Project. Or you can just create here with this button and you can see that you can download it and then it just, well, Tyson project. So here you have always two options. There are template or sample. So we're going to start with templates. Later, we're going to go on the sample side of things. Now, because Tyson can be used for different platforms, you can pick which one you want and the different versions that you can go. So you have mobile that right now is not allowing me because quite likely it didn't install those packages since that's not what I'm doing right now. And then we, uh, but we're, today we're just going to go for wearable. We, uh, these ones that are marked as extended, that means that uh, when you are downloading the packages, installing Tyson Studio, those are additional packages that you, you need to install. So, uh, and you can see that our TV and IoT. So if you are creating an IoT application, you still can use Tyson. And that is great specifically if you are thinking about like uh, things like smart appliances, a smart home, like if you have a small sensors and you want to use Tyson to talk with, with other Samsung devices, this is a great way to do it. But today we're just going to go on wearable devices. I'm usually picking version four because... Of now, like I mentioned before, we have two options, native applications, C, C++, or web application. Today we're going to pick that one. And this is what we have here. So basic UI, this TAU, that's Tyson Advanced UI. So we have two of those. We're going to check these three. These other two, well, you have the widget that I mentioned before, but I don't think we're going to have enough time to cover that. And I would prefer to, uh, to cover all other, other topics, but you see that the options are there. So we're going to start with basic UI. Obviously the first thing that is going to ask you is, uh, like a name, so I'm just going to say basic UI and I'm going to give the date. I don't even know if I created another basic UI before. So we have it there. And it's going to take a couple of seconds to create the project and create the files that, that you have, uh, that you are going to need. So we're going to check that for a second. Let's check this project. What is it that we have here? So this is a web application. So you are going to find several things here that should be familiar to you. So we have an index HTML. And you can see that uh, the, the syntax that we have here is just almost super standard HTML, HTML5. Then you have other uh, files that you're going to need, like uh, the icons, config file, et cetera, et cetera. And then you have these folders like the JS, obviously for JavaScript, and CSS for our styles. So we're going to check those. Uh, but uh, this is just code. It, it looks a little bit boring, just that, when you cannot test it. So we're going to run this on the emulator. And this is kind of like one of the first like cool things that I, that I really like. So when you download Tyson Studio or when you install the right extension on Visual Studio, you're going to have these additional tools. The emulator, package manager, the certificate manager, the device manager. Today, I think we're just going to focus on the emulator manager. And that's the one that I'm going to be looking for. So, yes. Perhaps I should open the package manager at some point. I'll open that. And depending on the packages that you downloaded when you install Tyson Studio, you're going to have different images, different devices that you can emulate in, the, in, in your computer. So the one that I'm going to go for is this one, Wearable Circle version 4. So that's going to open another small window. And one thing that I really like is that it does show, it, it looks like the, um, 
uh, Galaxy Watch. And you can even see that it's going to start loading here, Linux, uh, it's parsing a couple of things. This is the emulator. And you can see that it works just like uh, how well it would work uh, your Galaxy Watch. And this is your watch face. And you can start doing things with your mouse, you know, uh, like, uh, well, going into the different applications. We're going to check uh, a couple of things here. So uh, also you have the vessel that you see here that right now I don't have any applications, but that's that that's something that I find that is really cool. And then you have these two buttons that we're going to use. This one is the back button and this one is the power button. So whenever you press this, it's going to, well, or go back to the main screen. And, but if you can kind of like keep it pressed, it's going to give you the option to power off. And then if you want to exit that, you just go like in, in a web uh, browser, you can use the back button just to keep going back and get to this. So this is where our application is going to run. So let's go back to our hello world that I think the only thing that is going to show is this message that we see here, basic. And let's run that. So we right click, say run as Tyson web application. And then that is going to start loading. You can see it here at the bottom, like everything on, and it's just going to show basic. So that's your application. That is, well, quite basic. And you want to go back, you just press the back button, and then you're ready to go. So let's start with the simplest thing, of course. Let's change that. And then I'm going to say, hello. Hit Control S or Command S in a Mac. Then we can repeat the process. Right click run as Tyson application, and then I can jump here, and we are going to see it loading, I'm not popping out like in the previous one. Hello, workshop. So it's gigantic, okay? I hope you liked the video. Just don't forget to check our YouTube channel for more Tyson tidbits, and uh, leave your comments at the bottom, and let us know what kind of other content you would like to see.